Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about an Italian-inspired steak. We did corn on the cob and a little rosemary butter potatoes. We got two massive giveaways. If you guys want to see this plus the giveaways, here we go. All right, before the video even gets started, we got some massive announcements. We're going to announce one right now. At the end of the video, somewhere through there, we're going to announce the second one. Through social media and the Flat Top King and or Pellets of Pits, there's opportunities that come along where I think it's too good to pass up. Anytime someone is willing to give our audience who has supported us along the way an opportunity to win something, I'm all about it, okay? So first and foremost, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to TK Riverside Ranch for taking this opportunity not only to help us, but help you guys. Getting straight to the point, the very first prize is free beef. That's right, you heard it. TK Riverside Ranch is giving away free beef, premium uh, grass-fed, grain-finished beef. You guys know me, I like my grains. Um, I like that meat a little bit more than I do the pure 100% grass-fed. I think it just gives a little bit more flavor. That's what it's all about. All right, for today's video, we're shouting out TK Riverside Ranch. They, this is a top sirloin from them. Um, today is all about relaxing. I kind of got an idea. I've been on this idea for a while and I was just waiting to use it. A couple requests have been out there along with what I've been wanting to do. We're going to create an Italian style steak, a beautiful marinade to go in there, like fresh lemon, the herbs, uh, maybe do a little bruschetta for, for a little topping. And then the idea of corn on the cob. Oddly enough, we get plenty of comments how to do corn on the cob on the griddle. So we're able to do that. Then we're going to bowl, parboil the potatoes, finish those off in a rosemary garlic butter. I'm just having fun today, okay? It's more important about the giveaway to you guys and a way to say thank you for the journey. All right, we're going to zest about half a lemon for that freshness. A good squeeze of lemon juice, maybe about a tablespoon, not too much. That lemon zest is really going to pop. I am cooking with my heart today, so just follow along. Add what you would like, just a little crushed red pepper, not much. Small pinch of oregano, maybe a medium pinch of oregano total. About a half a sprig of rosemary. I am not that big of a rosemary fan, but a little goes a long way, so we'll put it in there. Just give that a quick rough chop. We got some fresh thyme, so you're just gonna pick those leaves off. I can go a little bit heavier with thyme than I can rosemary. A nice glug of olive oil. I want mine garlic heavy, so we did three large garlic cloves. A few gloves of balsamic vinegar. Like anything, you're just tasting for balance. Um, it should be quite tangy. Obviously, it's missing salt and pepper because we are going to season that steak. So, I did not add salt and pepper. If you're not going to season your steak afterwards, obviously, you can add some to your marinade. That is good. That fresh, that lemon, and that garlic really makes it pop. I'm just going to take a fork and just kind of stab the crap out of it. I just want that marinade to penetrate as fast as possible. It's up to you how long you let it go. We're just looking at a few hours. meat's tender. All right, while that is marinating inside of our steak, don't forget that at the end of this video, we're going to be giving away the bigger, what I think is the bigger prize. You guys can judge, but we're going to start our little topping for the steak. All right, I've already got some diced white onion. We just had it left over. Not a big deal. Same thing with the garlic. We're gonna mix one clove of garlic. Just a little fresh squeeze of lemon. Just kind of mirror those flavors. Just a quick glug of olive oil. Tear off a few leaves of fresh basil. We will be able to put those leaf form, roll them up. You guys know the drill, it's called chiffonade, and then you just finely slice. And that should be good. Little Roma tomato, do a quick dice on that.
To that, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, add just a little balsamic glaze. I just think that sweetness is gonna help with all that sourness from the marinade that we have. Probably extremely untraditional, but that's what cooking's all about. Just a little salt, a little black pepper. All right, we're rocking the 22 inch portable Weber Traveler griddle. So we're just gonna put a little smoked uh, beef tallow down first. I love that with potatoes. We can finish with butter. So we're just warming up the griddle now. So I'll just crank it up to a medium. I'm not gonna season the potatoes yet. I definitely want to cook these first and then add the seasoning right at the end. And it's very easy with corn on the cob, whether you have the husk on or the husk off, you're basically just looking to cook it all the way through. So we're just gonna keep rotating it on the griddle. And then at the end, we'll just toss it in some butter on the griddle, let it absorb all that butter and season with salt and pepper. Potatoes are still rocking. We don't have enough color on there yet. I'll just show you really quickly what I'm looking for. Still pretty bland. So maybe we'll crank that right side up a little bit. Go ahead and crank that left side up too, because that's going to be our sear zone. Uh, our sear zone is going to be right here, because we know that on this griddle, this is the hottest spot of the griddle, so we'll use that to our advantage. There we go. Get some color there. Working on it. There we go. All right, just make a little well. doesn't really matter. We're going to add the butter there. Add that rosemary. Get it all fragrant. Come back in with shake that, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Now we're gonna start seasoning our potatoes. This side up here is warming up. You see that little spot turning right there? Cause that's our hot spot. Just a little bit of butter. Just start rotating that corn inside of it. A little shake that on the steak, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Once again, just smearing those flavors. You see that we're white smoking over here. That's what we want. That means the griddle's hot. Smells good. Golly. Mmm. This gonna be a good dinner, babe. I hope so. Been wanting to try this for a while. Probably hit that with one more dusting of shake that. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll hit it with some salt. All right, guys, the steak is resting, looking good. We got the corn on the cob, we got the potatoes. I'm telling you right now, they smell fantastic. Big announcement number two, TK Riverside Ranch and I have been going back and forth. Uh, what to give you guys? What, what's a great giveaway, right? So I like the 22-inch Weber uh, griddle. Heck, I like the 30-inch Weber griddle. You guys know that I like my Weber griddles. That's it. The Weber 22-inch Traveler griddle comes to you. So make sure you click on the link down below. Uh, I'm using a propane canister here, like a little portable one. This can hook up to a 20-pound tank with the appropriate settings. Also, this does come with the lid. I just choose to cook without the lid because it's easy for you guys to see. Other than that, we've cooked on it. We're taking it tailgating. We've ta uh, taken it camping. I like it. So I think it's a fantastic value. So thank you, TK Riverside Ranch, for doing this for our viewers. Italian sirloin, here we go. Oh yeah. 
little medium action, a little medium rare action. Maybe just slice this thin. Whew, that marinade smells good. Mm -hmm. Fresh. And just to top that off just a little bit, that bruschetta. I think I'm saying it wrong. You guys know what I'm talking about. No offense, I'm just not Italian. I think that's gonna pair perfectly. All right, guys, there you go. That is it in a nutshell. Once again, just playing around your food, just uh, getting creative and just trying something different. I know the potatoes are on point. Yep, they are. I already tried one. <laughs> that crispiness, mm. Little quick note, whether added my seasoning or somebody else's seasoning, typically there's so many items in there where it's not just salt that you want to try to add those at the end, especially because mine has garlic in it. That garlic can burn. Most seasonings will burn. Um, so try to cook those potatoes 90% the way through. Move them off the hot part of the griddle so they can just cook through and go and season them then. Corn on the cob is corn on the cob. It's basic, not a big deal. And then this Italian style steak with that bris bruschetta. Or bruschetta? Bruschetta, I think. Mmm. Give me, no, give me a bite. I said another bite because I already had a bite when you were <laughs> washing dishes. Give me a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That tomato's where it's at. Mmm. That steak's good too. I'm typically not a fan of chimichurri, but that tomato on top with that lemon and the acid and then that little sweetness from the uh, glaze. Something oh, different. Good. Yeah. Something different. Just yeah. something different. Just to recap, the winner will be drawn one week from today. Uh, you get grass-fed, grain-finished beef. It doesn't go to the slaughterhouse. They all got it right there in-house, along with the 22-inch Weber Traveler griddle. Thank you so much, TK Riverside Ranch, for doing this because of their generosity to us. It really goes to you guys, and that's why we say thank you all the time. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram or check us out on Facebook, The Griddle Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. Well, that is. I know, that's good. That's good. That would be good over open fire. Flame mm. kissed. That is good. Kind of light up that lemon a little bit. Mm. That's good steak too. Yep.